Hey there, welcome to Old Smoke and Steve's. Glad you stopped by today. Uh, we're gonna be doing the uh, initial burn in on the uh, uh, Rectech Bullseye RTB 380. And uh, we're gonna, this is the first time I've fired it up, uh, so we're all gonna learn together and uh, see how this thing performs on the burn in and uh, uh, just check it out. So uh, let's get out to the grill and uh, get started. Okay, let's go ahead and get this uh, uh, pellet hopper opened up and uh, get this thing loaded up with some pellets. And before uh, I put these in here, I did power it up and uh, I verified that the auger does turn. So uh, uh, we're good to go there. So we're going to go ahead and fill this guy up and uh, get somewhat of a measurement here and uh, see how much, uh, how many pellets this thing burns in approximately an hour at uh, 450 degrees. So, uh, yeah, we got a little bit there. I'm just trying my finger, uh, almost a full finger down. So, uh, let's get her closed up, get this baby lit, and get the burn in going. Okay, we're going to start out with a handful of pellets in the uh, fire pit. And uh, the reason we're doing that is uh, that auger, auger isn't loaded up with uh, pellets yet. So uh, once we do that, we're going to hit the power on button and raise that temperature up to 450. Okay, and uh, we're going to leave the uh, heat deflector off there in the grate. Uh, and we're going to make sure this thing lights and gets started before we uh, put the deflector in there. Okay, it's been a minute or so, and uh, you can uh, see where it's uh, starting to get lit now. Uh, you can just see it uh, starting to glow a little bit red there, and uh, uh, you can smell it starting to burn. So uh, I'm going to pause the recording here and uh, let it get going. Okay, we got a nice little flame going there now. Uh, let's go ahead and get that heat deflector in there, and uh, we'll go ahead and put that. Uh, grade in and then what we're going to do is uh, get this guy closed up and uh, we're going to let it uh, get burned in for uh, maybe 45 minutes to an hour here so uh, let's check back on here in a little bit okay this temperature controller here uh, we got the uh, grill set for uh, 450 and uh, right now the grill temperature is 249 and the meat thermometer is reading 95. Uh, yes, 95 degrees here in Florida. So uh, all you do is hit that uh, temperature display button and it'll toggle through the uh, grill temperature, the meat temperature, and the set temperature. Now, I wanted to show you how fast this thing gets up to temperature. Uh, it really climbs fast. Uh, right now it's reading uh, 346, and uh, let's just stay with it, 352, stay with it, see how fast it climbs, 359, 367, 376, so as you can see, this thing doesn't mess around, uh, it gets up to temperature real quick, 387, 399, 415, 431, 448, bingo. So actually we got up to temperature uh, within 15 minutes. Okay, as you can see that uh, temperature is reading 749. It got up to 749 degrees. Uh, I think it's because uh, I probably just started out with too many pellets. Uh, had to do that because the auger wasn't filled up yet with pellets, so uh, you have to throw a few pellets in there to get it going. And uh, evidently I put too many in there. So uh, it'll back down to 450. Okay, it backed down to 450 on its own. I didn't have to do anything, make any adjustments or anything. Cooled back down to 450, and 
now it's going to regulate at 450. During the burn-in, uh, the temperature did vary a little bit uh, from uh, 449 to 455. Now that's pretty good for uh, over an hour and only varying six degrees. So I'm really happy with that. So uh, uh, we'll be checking it out at uh, 225 and see see how well it holds at 225 uh, for a smoke. Uh, that'll be a, another video. But uh, anyway, uh, everything's good today. So 449 to 455. I'm calling that a success. Okay, it's been burning in for about an hour now, so uh, we'll go ahead and shut this thing off. Uh, we'll show you what happens here. Uh, all we do is hit the uh, power off button, and automatically it goes into the cool down mode. Uh, which, what that does is it uh, goes ahead, burns what pellets is left in that uh, fire pit, and uh, that auger is going to stop, but it's going to burn that uh, fire pit clean and get you ready for the next cook. And uh, uh, the next step after that happens, uh, you'll see where it goes into the auger mode. Okay, let's take a peek in this hopper, see how many pellets we used. Oh yeah, as you can see, uh, hadn't hardly gone down at all. So that's good, real good. Okay, that's it for the burn in. Uh, we got it up to uh, 450 and uh, uh, let that thing burn off for about an hour or so. And uh, that's all you gotta do. And uh, if you wanna clean it, uh, you can do that uh, same procedure. Or crank it up a little bit hotter. But thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, we're going to be having a lot of great cooks on this uh, bullseye, and you don't want to miss out on any of those. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next one.